exciting episode of Trends Travel. I am your host for today, Nadia Damboza. In our first segment today, we went to open the beautiful Capital Hotel in Menlin, Pretoria. Check it out. Coming up next on Trends Travel this week, we open the new Capital Hotel in Menlin, Pretoria. We explore the Free State. We experience some fun ways to enjoy your food. And finally, a restaurant like no other. All this and so much more on Trends Travel this week. The capital on Maine is situated in the new urban development in Pretoria. A first for Pretoria. Menlin on Maine is a green precinct combining modern contemporary design with spaciousness. This contemporary style is carried through into the hotel with a beautiful and effortless minimalistic style. Beautiful color combinations further enhance the serene and balanced environment with pops of color, monochromatic hues and layers of texture. Trends Travel was invited to experience the space and attend the dramatic opening that promised to be a party like no other. But first, we were invited to the penthouse to speak to the owner of the Capital Hotel Group. So the Capital is actually our eighth property. We've got two more to follow and uh, we're mostly Santon based and very successful in Santon. And we said we now need to expand into the Pretoria market. And I went hunting and driving around looking for opportunities and where to go. And we knew Pretoria East would be great. But the precinct of Menland Main is absolutely on fire. We've got casinos, we've got shopping centers, we've got the biggest mall in the whole of Africa and in the mines of Africa. It was natural that this was the place that we were going to be. They keep getting better. They keep getting better because we're getting better and we're actually the fastest growing hotel group in South Africa opening two hotels a year and every time we build a hotel we learn from the previous and we learn what our clients want. We're specialists in apartment hotel as well as conferencing and regular hotel rooms and we learn all the tips and tricks of what our clients aesthetic look is, what their practical requirements are and we just keep getting better and better. So this is the best that we've done as the Capital Hotel Group. And it's also the best in Pretoria, which is important because Pretoria deserved the best. Pretoria historically has only had uh, very average hotels, quite frankly. Um, it's almost been earmarked as a place where people can't afford to have the best of the best. And we said, we're going to deliver the best of the best. Build it, and they shall come. And they have. So, modern contemporary is today very grey. There is a, um, a large element to that. And minimalism. So, keeping in with that uh, theme. And also what I just happen to like. Because at the end of the day, every time I met with the architects, I would naturally tend them in a certain direction. But our clients love it, this is what they want. In Pretoria it's an absolute first to have something as modern and contemporary as this uh, in the design. Our clients are very much from Africa and they love it with us. We offer apartments which has space, that has a home away from home feeling. Uh, clients can uh, um, cater themselves. We offer complimentary laundry as well. Bring your family, two bedroom apartments, three bedroom, one bedroom apartments. So we find a big demand from Africa in terms of having the space and then also the optionality of ordering in from room service or where we are in Menden at the moment, you have a choice of over 16 restaurants at your doorstep. Tonight's function is going to blow everyone in Pretoria off their socks. We've got DJ Fresh coming on the deck. We've got the 
American lecturers who are doing something very, very special. And uh, a couple of other surprises that I'm not going to let you know just yet. And as the sun set, the festivities began with great company, great food and some fun surprises. Give them a round of applause. What an insane place. So, welcome, thank you for your time and have a lovely evening. Dessert can be just sweet things or it can be decadence presented in true urban style. We watched as the capital chefs whipped up a sweet graffiti table filled with every sweet treat that you can imagine. And as the night drew to a close, we all agreed that it was a night no one will ever forget. Amid thousands of people dancing to techno music at Berlin's Feet de la Musique, a man walks through the crowd carrying a handmade tray full of what could become the new trend in the German capital. Ice cocktails. They look like simple popsicles but contain 11% alcohol and its makers hope they can achieve a breakthrough with their product as temperatures in Germany are expected to remain high over the summer. Hey, you know, you know. Also aktuell haben wir sechs Sorten mit bis zu 11,5 Prozent Volumen Alkohol. Ist alles Eis am Stiel. Wir arbeiten mit frischen Früchten. Wir haben Erdbeer der Kiri, Mango der Kiri oder auch Gin Tonic, Moscow Mule. Und ja, sind schon ganz äh, ordentlich. <lacht> Klein, aber auch hoch. Ja, ist gut. Macht Spaß. Wie sollte es auch anders sein? Bei Gin Tonic im Eis. In past weeks, temperatures in the capital have reached 30 degrees Celsius. Aimed at private and street parties, many discovered the ice cocktails while bands and musicians performed in Berlin. So far, there are six flavors, and among them are some of the most popular inspired by international long drinks concentrated into 36 milliliters popsicles. Ja, kreativ umgesetzt für den Sommer perfekt oder so. Auf jeden Fall, gute Sache. Auf jeden Fall bei so einem Wetter die beste Idee, die es gibt, weil sonst wird ja alles warm und das ist auf jeden Fall erfrischend, das ist schön.
Its makers, a small German company based in Berlin, say it only uses fresh products. Also wir haben ja hier unsere eigene Produktion in Berlin, das heißt wir produzieren eigentlich schon so, dass es immer just in time ist. Also die Leute bekommen war frisch produziert von uns, auch äh, die, die äh, Zutaten, die wir verarbeiten, sind auch alle frisch. Wir arbeiten mit äh, namhaften Partnern zusammen, wo wir uns die, die, äh, den Alkohol kaufen und äh, auch mischen lassen. Und ja, so als Eis am Stiel gibt es das äh, in der Form noch nicht. Fifteen popsicles cost around 45 euros in the company's website. Much more excitement coming up just after the break, so stay with us. Africa is getting more and more digitized and people have to navigate through an increasingly connected world. I did call my bay over here. Yeah, at school I use my Wi-Fi. On Network we tell you about Africa's technology and social media landscape. Politicians already do use Twitter a lot. It's both Android and iOS compatible. A solar charged box that includes everything, the computer, the projector. That's Network with Ms. Pumelele Zondi every Sunday at 9 p.m. Kilimanjaro, majestic and mysterious, 27 climbers, 5,895 meters, five days, trekking in honor of Madiba and for underprivileged schoolgirls. In just five years, millions of sanitary towels have been distributed countrywide. The target to reach two million needy girl children by 2020. It's time that as men, we must actually pick one uh, sanitary pack. We can touch one girl through this initiative. SABC News will again be documenting the arduous expedition. The climbers have one goal in mind. To pledge support for a month's supply of sanitary pads, SMS Jillian or Tabo M to 42513. The South African team hopes to summit Uhuru, Africa's highest peak, on Madiba's birthday, July 18th. Even though the temperatures have dropped significantly in South Africa, there is still a lot that you can do. One of my hard-working colleagues, Slondiwe, took a tour from the Val all the way to Mangawung. Do enjoy. The Val River is the largest tributary of the Orange River in South Africa. And the Riviera on Val is perfectly situated to offer the most stunning views and scenery. Thank you. 
Steeped in history, this 91-room hotel, a converted farmhouse from the 1800s, is situated on a bend of the scenic Val River. Just an hour's drive from the hustle and bustle of Johannesburg, you are transported into tranquil surroundings that invite one to relax and unwind. As the winter sun set, we were invited to experience one of the special activities that this hotel is very famous for, a leisurely meander down the river. The drop in the mercury didn't deter us one bit as we were promised a delicious meal whilst taking in the beautiful surroundings and company. And the aqua lounge didn't disappoint as we all tucked into some food. What better way to spend an evening than to meander down the river, glass in hand? We've got the Bonatel Riviera Val. Obviously, the hotel is quite old. It turned 90 years old last year. And uh, yeah, it's been on the current site since 1920. One of those old hotels that is just, you know, it's one of those magic places you have to go to. In winter, you know, everybody forgets about the Val. It's like the, uh, the, the ugly sister. Everybody wants to go up north to Hadebias Putam, and this is the place to be. Over the festive season in summer, obviously, it's a, it's a haven for boating. We've got 53 kilometers of navigable water. So it's, it's, it's a boater's heaven. There's enough to do to keep you busy or enough to do so that you you don't want to be busy, you can relax. You know, we've got the pool, you can lie there all day, we've got the spa, so you can go and be pampered. If you want to, you can be on the river, do everything on parasailing to skiing to wakeboarding and all those adventure things. You can actually skydive over the Val River, even. You can jet ski board, or you can just, you know, there's two golf courses right next to the hotel, go have a bit of round of golf. In the Val itself, there's so many other businesses and sites and things to do. It's such an interesting place, so it's, it's a nice place to explore the Val. In June, we have the Val Wine Route, so for six weeks they actually have each venue hosts a wine tasting and you can come and, and just like a wine route would be go to each venue taste wine sample what they have on special at the, that particular venue and go like we'll have eight wines for you to taste from Le Pommier and from Ruben Rothschild and then we're pairing it with North African flatbreads and different pates and then if you have too much wine tasting obviously you can sleep over and just relax at the hotel a spectacular blood moon was out as we made our way back to the hotel, which sparkles like a beautiful gem in the dark on the river banks. As morning dawned, we were up and ready to explore a lot more. Our travels took us straight to Bloemfontein, Mangawung. This is the capital city of the province of the Free State and as the judicial capital of the nation, one of South Africa's three national capitals, Bloemfontein is the sixth largest city in South Africa. Bloemfontein was popularly and poetically known as the City of Roses, owing to the abundance of these flowers in spring and summer and the annual Rose Festival held there. The city's Sisutu name is Mangawung, meaning Place of Cheetahs. Naval Hill is rich with historic relevance and local folklore. There could not have been a better site to put this gigantic statue of Nelson Mandela in a beautiful game reserve as a symbol of his freedom and overlooking a town of historical significance. The National Women's Memorial, the first monument in the world dedicated to women and children, was unveiled on the 16th of December 1913. One of its famous sculptures is a ball of yarn created from the barbed wire from the concentration camps that kept the women and children, a symbol of women's strength persevering through hardship. The monument is situated in Monument Avenue in the southern neighborhood Fonisich, Bloemfontein. The monument is on the same grounds as the anglo boer War Museum. The big, open spaces of untamed grassland that surround the terrain of the National Women's Memorial represents the untamed Free State fields and landscape from a bygone time. One of the most significant events in the history of South Africa was the Anglo-Boer War. It started in 1899 and ended in 1902. 
Although the protagonists were Britain and the two Boer republics, the population of South Africa as a whole became embroiled in the war either directly or indirectly. The monument commemorates the suffering of some 27,000 women and children who died in British concentration camps during this war. Diving in the mud is something racers normally avoid during a competition, but it is part of the course during the Tough Mudder competition. Around 17,000 hardy men and women came together on Saturday in Arnsberg in North Rhine, Westphalia in order to indulge in the dirty contest and race in the more than 16 kilometer long obstacle course. The organizers say Tough Matter is not about winning, but the team spirit, a statement racer Sebastian Wolf could only concur with. Eigentlich ist die Gemeinschaft. Es ist wirklich so, dieses Team Geist, deswegen ist es ein bisschen schade, dass ich heute allein gelaufen bin. Aber ich habe nicht das Gefühl, dass ich alleine war. Also es war tatsächlich, auf der Strecke habe ich überall Leute kennengelernt. Man hat sich geholfen, Witze gemacht, angespornt. War sehr gut. This year, the participants had to overcome 20 obstacles, including wooden walls and water barriers. Also, wir sind zu mehreren losgelaufen und die anderen waren alle ein bisschen sportlicher. Ich habe gesagt, lauf, ne? Aber ich komme da schon durch und das ist total geil hier. Ich kann es nur jedem empfehlen. The Tough Mudder obstacle race originated in the U.S. state of Pennsylvania. The first such race was held there in 2010. By now, the punishing mud fest has found a worldwide fan base. In Germany alone, there are three such mud races this year. Yeah, ganz gut. Ja, letztes Jahr war es anstrengender. Dieses Jahr war es. Also, wenn man es einmal mit erlebt hat, war es echt locker. If you've just joined us, unfortunately you've missed out on an exciting tour of the Free State. But don't worry, because we have so much more after the break.
when I was passing the casino, I said, that edge came, you know, I said, I'll just try, you never know. You might go home with 80,000, you know, times four the amount that you have. And that stupid day, I lost all my money. Never allow glamorous lifestyles to push you beyond your means. The awakening moment was the 2007 when I left my children alone. I realized this is, this is hurting me. Ask for professional help if gambling is controlling you. Know when to stop. I faced reality that you know what, for you there's no quick reach. You know, so you, you just have to work hard. So it's, it's gone. For all your uplifting stories, catch Bupilong every Friday at 17.30. Did you know that hippopotamus are susceptible to sunburn and spend most of their sunny days with only their noses out of the water whilst the rest of their body is immersed in water? Their noses have special flaps that close when submerged and can stay underwater for 25 minutes. The hippopotamus is the third largest living land mammal after the elephant and the white rhino. The hippo is 13 feet long and up to 5 feet tall and the female weighs up to 655 kilograms. The hippopotamus is a grazer, it's up to 40 kilograms of grass at night and it has a life expectancy of only 50 years. A London restaurant has created a new gastronomic experience. The way I kind of thought about this was to try turn this this meal into into a story. So the the chef basically gave me his sort of initial ideas. Um, so Rafael had like a you know sort of like a rough menu that he sort of thought about. Um, you know, kind of like an outline of the key ingredients, like that sort of thing. And then I basically started thinking about you know, how can I turn this into a narrative? How can I make music from this? Famous for serving up a sensory experience for more than a decade, allowing diners to experience eating in the dark is bringing a new concept to the table. I think the prawns would be more sort of like a fidgety motion, have like a little bit more movement to them. Okay. And then the scallops are the, the sort of heavy cello Teaming up with music company Audio Network, restaurant Dance Le Noir is now offering diners the chance not only to eat in the dark, but listen to bespoke music custom made for every dish. When Paul sent me uh, via email his first drawing of his music, I did actually rechange my menu, go towards it, and then he received my ideas of my menu and then we actually collaborated that together and yeah if you ask me if i listen oh i listen over and over and over and over again and i actually did have try in the dark room uh, to sit with my complete dish to listen to music if actually that's work and honestly say yeah it works for myself perfectly
crafted by composer Paul Russell, who has worked with artists such as Lana Del Rey, the tracks aim to complement a special menu tailor-made by the restaurant's head chef, Rafael Zaremba. <laughs> It made me think a lot more, to be honest, which is really weird. Like, it made me feel like I was underwater when clearly I wasn't. I think on the yeah. first dish, the, the music was so, in, in my mind, the way I interpreted the music was it was really tranquil. I could imagine. You know, being in a Japanese garden with koi carps, and, and that led my mind to thinking this is definitely a fish dish, which I, I, I still believe it is. Yeah. When you're in darkness, everything changes. And for us, it was really exciting to think about what could a bespoke soundtrack bring to this already bizarre experience? The music and taste are similar in certain ways because it's other than the visual sense. And even if we don't have the visual sense, uh, in my case, because of my disability, and uh, in some cases when the people are eating the duck, they entirely have to rely on their taste and smell and other sense than the visual sense and of course the hearing could perhaps have the similar uh, nature Paris swelted this May as temperatures soared, but the peak in weather did not stop tourists from enjoying the city of lights and visiting the Eiffel Tower under a radiant sun. After a gloomy month of April and rain, the weather has perked up in recent days with temperatures topping 29 degrees, according to weather service Meteo France. sun tourists took advantage of the sun in the city parks for an early tanning session, but were hesitant over taking a dip in the Trasado fountain. Italian tourist Francesca Maitani said that he did not stop her from visiting the French capital and its iconic monuments. Yes, uh, it's, it's wonderful, uh, the, the weather. It's great because, uh, you yeah, um, there are two days, uh, the rain, the cool, and today it's, it's wonderful, the, the weather. Yes, it's really, really hot today. <laughs> I go now on the Tour Eiffel and it was very hot to go by stairs, yes. Temperatures are set to drop a few degrees and blue skies will quickly turn cloudy with the rain following shortly for the rest of the week. On a des bouteilles d'eau dans les sacs et on profite tout simplement. Enfin non, il n'y a pas de. Pour nous c'est pas un handicap la chaleur. Donc, euh... Et pour les enfants Oui, on vend beaucoup d'eau quand il fait chaud et je pense qu'aujourd'hui je vais en vendre trois fois plus qu'un qu jour où il ferait une vingtaine de degrés. Catholic devotees participated in a religious festival in northern Philippines, dancing to worship a patron saint believed to grant fertility. Devotees also honored two other patron saints, paying respect and gratitude for the harvest.
Carlinita Valimata, 37, has been dancing in the festival for three years in the hope that the patron saint will grant her a child, despite having three consecutive miscarriages. Yung katawan natin ay nilikha yan para din sa kanyang purpose. So kung yung katawan ay magagamit natin para sa ikababanal, para magdasal sa Diyos, kagaya ni Haring David na nagdasal sa pamagitan ng sayaw, so hindi ba masalulugod ang Diyos na yung katawan natin ginagamit natin hindi sa kasalanan kundi sa pagsamba sa Kanya? So naging tradisyon kasi na noon pa man sumasayaw na talaga yung mga tao dito. The procession began and ended at the town's 263-year-old church where priests and seminarians joined the parishioners in dancing. After the break, we show you places to explore should you decide to step outside your borders. Water-wise, water is an essential need. The scarcity of it could lead to loss of many lives, including livestock, plants, and much more. It requires us to use it sparingly and responsibly in times of need, failing which our taps and sanitation will not function. For more on water and weather issues, stay tuned to News Today, every Friday at quarter to five Central African time. SABC News, making you water wise. The Law Society has slammed notices sent to four universities to jack up standards or risk losing their LLB courses. The Council on Higher Education issued a stern warning to the universities to conform within six months. I think it will affect the university. I think uh, um, outside, the, outside the law faculty there is a funding issue. It's been 112 years since Enoch Sontonga died as a relatively unknown composer, choir master and teacher. But today his legacy lives on through his greatest composition, Ngosi Sikeleli Africa. For all your news updates, stay tuned to Your World from Monday to Sunday. Motorcyclists in Cairo have taken to hanging out at a cafe where they can ride straight through the front door and get a bit of the love they feel is lacking for bikes and bikers on the streets of the city. The bikers joined in Zamalek, a fashionable district of the Egyptian capital, allows riders to grab some refreshment while mechanics check over their bikes. Of a 
فكرت فيها ان انت تبقى تيجي بموتوسيكلك تخش جوه المكان تركن جنب الترابيزه بتاعتك تقعد بقى احنا بعد كده ناخد الموتوسيكل ندخله بقى الصيانه او الغسيل او على حسب انت جاي تعمل ايه وانت قاعد بقى مستني الموتوسيكل قاعد بتفرج عليه في ازاز وتشرب حاجه بقى تاكل حاجه تلعب اكس بوكس على باب الموتوسيكل بتاعك يخسر يخلص كده The bikers themselves say other road users often don't understand them and see their powerful machines as noisy nuisance. The bikers joined hopes to help overcome some of those negative attitudes towards motorcyclists while providing a haven for Egypt's biking community. طبعا اه في الاول وفي الاخر برضو الموضوع الكوميونتي البايكرز في مصر محتاج ان هو يبقى فيه توعيه اكتر من كده فالمكان ده برضو بي يعني بي بيدي حتى الناس اللي بتيجي هنا مش بايكرز بتبقى عارفه المكان وبتاخد فكره عن البايكرز بشكل اكبر. <تصفيق> There is also an effort to encourage more women to ride, something unusual in Egypt. الفكرة نفسها كتير حلوة كتير مريحة ل يعني ل ل ل الفيمل وللمل لأنه يعني الواحد بيكون عاد مرتاح وما ما ما بيتعرض لأي يعني مضايقات مثلاً من الناس أو من ال even الناس اللي بتصلح أو كذا وبالعكس يعني بيكون يعني ال ال community كلها مقفولة على بعض فما علي كل الناس بتعرف بعض وكل الناس بتساعد بعض. The ride through cafe is a home away from home for Cairo bikers and it's gaining much popularity. Playing with fire is not just an expression for Mohammed Hanafi, a Cairo barber who uses fire to straighten and style hair. The daredevil barber said he's always been keen to stay up to date with the latest fashion trends in hairstyles. When Hanafi saw a YouTube video in which a Pakistani barber used fire as a styling technique, he knew he had to give it a try. الفرق بين الفرد العادي والفرد بالنار ان الفرد العادي بيفرد الشعرايه اقوى من الفرد العادي بيديها وقت اطول ان هي تستمر مع الشعر لمده شهر شهر ونص بيحافظ على لون الشعرايه زي ما هي بيدي على تاصف الشعر وبيساعد في ان انا اقضي على القشره مع الفرد بالنار There are many benefits to the jaw dropping technique said the 32 year old after seeing the video of the Pakistani baba Hanafi was determined to learn the technique but not without some reservations اول مره فكرت ان انا اشتغل بالطريقه ديت كنت قلقان طبعا لان انا ما اشتغلتش بالطريقه دي قبل كده وكنت كمان صعب ان انا اقنع حد بالموضوع ازاي هقول له هولع في شعرك وشعرك يفضل سليم زي ما هو لا وهيتحسن كمان فكنت قلقان طبعا اول مره ولكن الحمد لله بدات من من اول مره اشتغلت فيها كان الموضوع سهل معايا في الشغل Every day, a string of customers, mostly young people, have come to Hanafi's barber shop in Shubra Al Kema to catch fire. I was watching him on YouTube and I found a lot of friends who tried it. وقالوا لي الموضوع تم بنجاح والحمد لله فحبيت ان انا اجرب واجي اعرف هو هينفع او مش هينفع فلما جربت ما فيش اي ضرر لشعري بينعم الشعر وبيفرده كويس جدا وبيقعد مده طويله لقيت الموضوع كله بنجاح والحمد لله
Hanafi says the fire technique works better on thick hair because it can stand the heat better. A new exhibition celebrating the career of iconic rock band Pink Floyd featuring a host of memorabilia from across their career as well as tributes to groups famously surreal iconography opened in London this May. The Pink Floyd exhibition, The Immortal Remains, is hosted by the city's V&A Museum and is being held to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the release of the band's debut album, The Piper at the Gates of Dawn. The exhibition is an audio-visual chronicle of the band's rise from being the darlings of London's underground music scene in the 1960s to worldwide stardom and a career that saw them sell over 250 million albums. Uh, well, I think uh, two things. First of all, 50 years always seems like a good, good moment. And the truth of the matter is, there's, we're not all here forever. Uh, we've lost two of the band over the years. Um, and it, it's so important, I think, if you want to tell these sorts of stories, to do it while people are still around to tell them. Yeah, I mean, I think it, for us, we found something where we felt really comfortable, which was to do things that involved graphics and film or whatever. We never managed to achieve those sort of dance moves that other people did. And that use of, of the imagery to, to, to tell the story and to create a sort of a focus almost for an audience uh, became really important. And I think that's sort of shown here. Visitors enter through an oversized recreation of the van that carried the band to their early gigs and will then be able to view over 350 artifacts from the band's career as well as view never before seen footage of the band at work. The exhibition also features representations of some of the most iconic imagery associated with Pink Floyd. It's not just uh, a sort of nostalgia, it's about showing people how something was done or how, it, how it's done or, or possibly even um, for a younger audience, things they might be able to do. And I don't necessarily mean being in a band, but there's audio-visual things and there's uh, technology and uh, the recording process and so on. These range from a mock-up of London's Battersea Power Station, which featured in the cover art for the band's Animals album, and The Wall, complete with a towering head teacher that was part of the stage set on their 1980-1981 tour of The Wall album. Uh, it's extraordinary. I mean, it, it really is. It, 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 of course, it doesn't feel like 50 years. If someone said, Oh, it's 20th, 20th anniversary, I go, oh really? Already? It, it was a challenge for me, because obviously I've worked for the band since 1968. Naomi Campbell and a host of other celebrities took to the catwalk for the Fashion for Relief charity event in aid of Save the Children. She was joined by the likes of models Heidi Klum and Anna Cleveland and actor Antonio Banderas. It has been 12 years since Campbell founded the Fashion Relief Charity and the second time she has held the annual fundraiser in Cannes.
rounded up all her model pals for her latest charity effort with the organization raising cash for environmental and humanitarian causes across the globe. Proceeds from the event are going to save the children, a charity Naomi works closely with. The 47-year-old catwalk legend recently headed to Jordan to visit a refugee camp where she met children displaced by the conflict in the Middle East. And that's all we have for you on today's show. Join us again next week, same time, same place. From the hardworking Trains Travel team, see you next week. (laughs) 